Hi and welcome to Power by Code. My name is Tommy and today I will show you how to boost your Dynex mining efficiency using one zero miner on Windows 11. When adding overclock settings in your Dynex miner config file, you can boost your efficiency and use less watt and probably experience less fan noise and heat. For this we need a little bit of help from our friends at hashrate.no. Click on GPUs on the devices. Choose the graphics card that matches the one you have installed in your PC. I have a NVIDIA RTX 47 Ti. Click on Dynex. On the medium overclock, you can find some useful overclocking settings. Open your mine.bat file in Notepad. In the end of the current line, add the overclocking settings from hashrate.no. In my case it is dash dash core offset 300 dash dash Core clock 2205 dash dash power limit 250. Save and run the file. If you want to see a list of overclocking options in one zero miner with a short description, go to the webpage github.com slash one zero miner slash one zero miner and scroll a bit down. After some time, I'm using around 106 watt per hour and my efficiency is around 46. S per watt. Using my other PC with two NVIDIA 3070s, inspired from hashrate.no, I add dash dash core clock 1455, dash dash core offset 300, dash dash memory clock 5000. Save and run the file. As you can see, not all overclocking options is supported by all GPUs. In this case, Core offset is not applied when running one zero minor. Do not worry, you will still get the efficiency boost from the core clock and memory clock setting. After some time, I'm using around 100 watt per hour and my efficiency is around 32 Hz per watt. So comparing the 4070 Ti with the 3070, the 4070 Ti is much more efficient than my 3070 mining Dynex. That's it. You can now boost your Dynex mining efficiency using one zero miner on Windows 11. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe button.